What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, we're going on 16 days since Hurricane Barrow. A Category 1 hurricane hit uh, the city of Houston, Texas, leaving a lot of damage. And it left a lot of deaths in its wake. A lot of misery for a lot of people. And come to find out, People are still going through the said misery. There's still a lot of people out here that don't have power. Now, I've been out and about and working, and it looks like business as usual in most of the places I've been going along my route with me doing my job. And uh, you tend to forget that, you know, something catastrophic even happened here, you know, from just driving around now. I want to show you two videos. First video I want to show you is... Uh, well, it's two people telling their story. The first video is about the death toll that's here. And one lady's uh, experiencing losing her sister due to this immense heat. And uh, the second video, man, is heartbreaking. And it's about, a, uh, you know what? Just take a look, man. People are still struggling out here. In the weeks since Hurricane Barrel unleashed devastating rain and flooding on southeast Texas, a new threat emerged as Texans struggle in triple digit temperatures with no power and no air conditioning. Fox's correspondent Madison Scarpino has more. When Hurricane Barrel hit Texas earlier this month, there were a number of initial fatalities caused by floodwaters and falling trees. In the weeks that followed, a new kind of threat emerged as prolonged power outages left Texans unable to get relief from the brutal heat. As temperatures soared in their home, Janet Jarrett did everything she could to keep her sister Pamela cool. My thermostat said 97, 98. So I would open the windows trying to get breeze to go through as much as I could. But on their third morning without power, Janet awoke to find Pamela gasping for breath. She died just four days later. She was 64 years old and um, she just had a birthday not too long in April. The problem was um, not having electricity. You know, we didn't have any air. At the height of the outages, nearly three million homes and businesses were without power. The lights have since been turned back on for most, but the slow pace of the recovery put thousands at risk and put the power company, Centerpoint Energy, under a microscope over whether it did enough to prepare. If they had cut back some of these trees from the lines, it wouldn't cause as much damage. And they've been telling them for years to do these things. And they haven't done it. Half of the deaths attributed to Barrel in Harris County have been heat related. And the total number is still likely to climb even further. In New York, Madison Scarpino, Fox News. Days. That is how long it's been since Hurricane Barrel hit the Houston area. Since that time, an 80 year old woman has been living with extensive roof and water damage. In fact, many of you have been commenting on our Click to Houston article about her concerned about the possibility of mold. Our Rowan Belogan live in East Houston now with how a nonprofit Rowan is stepping in to help her out. Yeah, Lisa, first you mentioned mold. It's something uh, the retired nurse here has thought about. She's had to call the ambulance to her home twice since Hurricane Barrel hit because she wasn't feeling too well. Today, that nonprofit stepping in a bit to help make a patchwork on the roof. Now she says she's feeling a little bit better. Nothing else. For 16 days. 80-year-old Lottie Bennett dealt with an open roof after a tree slammed onto it when Hurricane Barrel hit. The roof finally getting covered after days of rain. How do you feel? I feel much better. I feel better because last night wasn't a very good night. Mm. How so? How was it? Oh, the rain. I got puddles and the carpet and everything. The stroke survivor gives us a tour of her home, showing the damage Barrel left behind. So. How, how do you feel through all of this? I feel horrible, forgotten. Because how can you, you know, expect someone to really go to sleep and sleep at night knowing the tree is down? You said you feel forgotten. What do you mean by that? And forgotten by who? About the city. 
any time that I have to pay a bill or something, you expect me to pay the bill because I've used the appliances and everything, right? Bennett said a representative from Reliance visited her home last week. She was under the impression they would fix whatever power issue she had, but it didn't happen. The rep told her to hire an electrician to make repairs to the wires and weatherhead. I know that they can't do everybody, you know, at once, but show some respect that you do care. Now, Bennett tells me after unsuccessfully attempting to sleep in the home again last night, those storms really prevented that. So today she's considering relocating to a hotel. Live in East Houston, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News. All right, guys, that's the uh, sad news of what's going on out here. There are people that still don't have power and people that are still struggling. The, both of those stories are messed up. You know, the death toll is still climbing and there's still people that, you know, are succumbing to exhaustion from the heat. Um, but that second video was the one that really bothered me. Ladies in her 80s, a stroke survivor. Tree fell on her house. Things are what they are. But it's been raining out here very bad. Like, I mean, yesterday it was really bad. And they talked to her and she said it was puddles on her carpet. That's a defeating feeling when I mean, you got a hole in your damn roof. And the energy people was just there. And they tell you at 80 years old, on a fixed income, yeah, go hire an electrician. They ain't not going to pay for it. They gonna, they, but they'll tell you what to do. Like it was just solving a hard equation. Woman got a hole in the roof. She got to go stay in a hotel. What you think that do to a uh, psyche? 80 years old on this planet and got to deal with stuff like this. Did you hear what the lady said in the first video? She said, it all comes back to them cutting down trees. Part of the service they provide as energy uh, providers. Mayor himself said 15 years ago they had a plan in place for them to start cutting back trees and they never did it. A lot of people are suing. It's a big class action lawsuit against Center Point Energy. And, and it rightfully so. They should get the pants suit off of their dumb asses. This is what happens when you choose money over people. Now granted, this is a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar company. As bad as this is, to save as much face as they could, they should be out there trying to fix as much damage that's caused from their negligence. But you won't see that from them. Why? Because they got good lawyers and they feel as though this is not them. And like in, in certain quotes, they said, our, uh, our system was foolproof. So who are you putting the blame on? It's like many different people trying to blame, but somebody got to take the fall for this. Why people don't have power after 16 days in a major industrial city where most of the components and stuff you need are usually produced here in one way, shape, or form, or can be out here. I left this morning, five in the morning, went downtown. I passed Reliant Stadium. And I let, I seen the power trucks leave it out in droves. I think in the beginning of this thing, it was too much arguing about whose fault it was and not enough work getting done. I told you too many cooks in the kitchen. It was a recipe for disaster. There are people out here right now, guys, or they were stated in other videos that I didn't even show you guys, where power's cut on in certain places and these people are not even considered on the grid. They didn't even know that they, they was a part of the network. How are you a company and don't know who your customers are? that pay you. Sinful. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. It's a damn shame.